So we're going to give our cat a bath. This is the mommy that you guys probably didn't see. She's long haired. We have some shampoo here that we've diluted with a little bit of water so we can spread it easier. And we have a towel on the bottom of the sink for her to scratch and give her some comfort. And we start dry first by putting the washcloth in the shampoo. That way we don't have to get her wet till we have to. I know, sweetheart. And get the hard places like the bottom of her neck and her armpits and her tummy. And these are the areas that are hard to get if you douse her in shampoo and water first. But it's easier if you do it dry like this. <laughs> and that's the kitten down there thinking she's missing out on fun. I know, sweetheart. So the ears are a hard part to get once they're wet, so we like to get them when they're dry. And then also, I use a toothbrush on long-haired cats on the back of the ears, because that part can get really greasy. Yeah, I know. Okay. So the legs are another hard part to get once they're wet. And the tail is another hard part once it's wet. <laughs> I know. She's a little out of bath practice because she hasn't had a bath since before she was pregnant in October. I'm getting some time to bath them. Yep. So then you go ahead and put a little bit of water on her to start lathering up the dry shampoo that's already on her. And then go ahead and suds up the dry shampoo. This is easier to do in the sink than it is in the tub because you're not bending over and you have a little bit more control in a smaller area than you would in a tub. So for some people, this will be enough if you don't mind having a kind of greasy cat, if you don't care about how pretty they are. The long-haired ones, it's better to do a second shower after this because their fur gets pretty long and greasy. And so make sure the temperature's okay. We're going to do her first rinse. And then doing it in the sink, you can use this spout spray, which makes it easier too because then you just have to get her a little bit wet warm instead of dousing her completely in water. It's easier to get under her tummy. It's getting hot. There we go. Let's get your tail. Litter stuck with her tail. So now I give her her second shampoo, and this one I just put the straight shampoo on. Oh, I know, sweetie. Kind of keep a firm grip on their shoulders, and it should help them from getting loose. Yes, if they feel an opening, they'll probably take a jump. And this one's just kind of quick. You do as fast as you can. They're a little more agitated now that they're wet. But it's harder to get the problem areas like the tummy once they're wet and move it around. Some people go for the face. They do a pretty good job cleaning their face, so I usually don't mind. I let her do that herself. Um, if you would clean the face, you could use the toothbrush that we used earlier on her ears. You can see now that she's wet how hard it is to get her legs, which is why I try to get her legs good before. So that's about as clean as she's going to get. Now she goes for her final rinse. Oh, you know, sweetheart. It's almost done. <laughs> and then down. And so by having the towel on the bottom of the sink, it's getting all doused, but it gives her something to grab and gives her a little bit of security. If she was sliding around with her nails scratching, she would be a little more scared and agitated. I know it's kind of hard to imagine at this point to be more scared. No, I know. You're almost done.
Um, as far as shampoo to use, um, reuse holistic shampoos. Um, you don't need to use a fleeted bath because it's really hard on their burned skin. Um, and a lot of chemically ones are too. So look for something holistic that's gentler, won't strip your skin. Um, <laughs> I know, just your tail. Just your tail. You can kind of see. <laughs> if they get an opening, they go for it. That's why it's good to try to keep control. I know, sweetheart. Let's just get your tail. Your super, super flurry long tail. Okay. So she is good. Um, we like to use two towels. One in the sink. <laughs> get down into real quick. So we use two towels, one in the sink, to try to give her a quick dry off. Can we do that to try to get as much water off as we can before we move her to a second towel on the floor? And here we go. Can we dry her off? And you have a clean cat. For long haired cats, you could let them air dry. Actually, for short haired cats, you let them air dry and run around. They should be good. Um, for long haired cats, you may need to blow dry them if they get a poofy, curly lick to them. Um, or if you don't mind that, you can just let them air dry. Try to let them dry somewhere warm. And that's how you clean your cat.